Mr. Speaker. Order. Order. Todd Barclay. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. I'm not sure what I'm being asked to confess about it, apart from the fact that I'm proud to be part of a strong John Key led national government and have been for the last two and a half years. One thing I want to say about the Prime Minister is that he is relentlessly optimistic and aspirational for New Zealand. He has been every day that he's been in this parliament, and he is absolutely an inspiration to us all. And that's more than, more than the opposition can say for their leader. Mr Speaker, we've heard a number of speeches this afternoon in the general debate where it's meant to be about putting your case forward, talking about the positive aspirations that you have for New Zealand and your electorate, but instead every single opposition member has spent their five to ten minutes talking about national. And that says a lot about them and what they have to offer, which is why I have absolute confidence that the next leader of the National Party and the next deputy leader of the National Party will be the next Prime Minister and Deputy Prime Minister of New Zealand in 2017. We are proud of our achievements over this side of the House. We have a lot to offer for New Zealand moving forward. And one of the things that the Prime Minister can walk away taking pride in is having built a successful, cohesive, passionate, compassionate team. And that's one thing that we have on this side of the House that the other side simply don't have, Mr Speaker. I want to speak about an announcement that was made last week in Southland by Stephen Joyce, Nathan Guy, Sarah Dowie and myself in support of them. And in support of the 550 Southlanders who showed up for the launch of the Southland Regional Development Strategy Action Plan, we had almost 1% of our population at that launch, which is an incredible backing for a regional development plan which really has been led from the grassroots up. One of the remarks that Stephen Joyce and Nathan Guy made in their respective speeches throughout the day was that this region took the bull by the horns and started this plan themselves and then came to government and said, hey, this is what we're doing. Do you want to be a part of it? Absolutely. That's what the government said. And we've got behind this plan and Sarah and I as local MPs in Southland have been totally supportive right from the start. Sarah has talked about aquaculture, some of the primary production benefits of this plan. I want to echo those comments and I want to talk about some of the aspirational targets we have for growth of our population. Mr Speaker, we know that if we want to maintain and grow our potential as a region across New Zealand and to, towards our contribution towards our GDP, we need to increase our population by 10,000 people. Southland and Otago are lucky that we have such low unemployment and such high participation in employment that we need more people to come to our beautiful part of the country in order to uh, continue to make the contribution that we are towards New Zealand. Mr Speaker, we're about diversification, we're about resilience, we're about self-determination and ruthless passion. And that was echoed by the 100, 550 people represented, um, by, um, represented in the stadium at the Bill Richardson uh, Museum last Wednesday, Mr Speaker. Some of the benefits we have for Southland going forward is harnessing the potential in tourism that already exists in the region, but growing on that. We have Queenstown as part of my electorate, just outside of the Southland region. There are over 1.5 million visitors who visit Queenstown a year, over 3.2 million guest nights. We have the potential to uh, claw back some of those visitors who are going to, to Milford Sound and through Southland and spreading the benefits more broadly across Southland, Mr Speaker. And that's a, that's a project that I've been involved in from the outset. And it was pleasing to see as part of the launch last Wednesday that uh, the Milford Opportunities Project, which was an organisation that I established about two years ago uh, to greater coordinate the about a dozen projects that are in place in the Milford Sound, attracted $250,000 for a coordinator in order to shepherd those projects through, Mr Speaker. We have a great opportunity to expand and to grow and to uh, exponentially enrich our tourism proposition into Southland, Mr Speaker, to support the, uh, the growing and the well-performing primary production sectors that we have. 
Mr Speaker, agriculture is the backbone of our country and it is the backbone of my electorate. And in support of what the opportunities we have with tourism, it's been a privilege to be a part of the South and Regional Development Strategy launch. Well done.